The ornately carved oak door seemed to mock Elias. He pushed against it with all his might, desperation lacing his movements. The heavy wood wouldn't budge, the silence of his attempts echoing back at him, amplifying the growing panic in his chest. Where was he? His mind was a tangled mess, memories swirling like dust motes in a sunbeam, refusing to coalesce into anything coherent. Panic morphed into a dull ache as the limitations of his situation sank in. He was trapped. Glancing down at his attire, simple gray trousers and a shirt, worn and wrinkled, offered no clues. He stumbled back, taking in the grandness of the room. A high-backed mahogany bed dominated the space, its intricately carved headboard seeming to frown down at him. Sunlight slanted through heavy drapes, casting long shadows that danced eerily on the ornate wallpaper. A plush armchair, upholstered in emerald green velvet, beckoned, but even its luxurious comfort couldn't quell the churning in his stomach. Hunger gnawed at him, a constant reminder of his predicament. A writing desk, boasting a silver inkwell and a quill pen, added to the air of an era gone by. The very room seemed designed to be a sumptuous prison, its beauty a sharp contrast to the growing fear inside him. Elias scanned the room, searching for sustenance, anything to ease the gnawing emptiness. Finding none, his gaze fell on a pristine white writing table adorned with a pen and a blank sheet of paper. It seemed almost taunting, a blank canvas mirroring the blankness in his own mind. Determined to reclaim some semblance of control, Elias settled at the table. Picking up the pen, it felt unnaturally heavy in his hand. He tried to write, to scrawl anything, a name, a memory, anything to pierce the fog of confusion. But his hand stuttered, the pen leaving nothing but a jagged line on the paper. Frustration welled up, hot and bitter. He slammed the pen down, the sound echoing in the silent room. Exhausted by the fruitless struggle, Elias slumped into the armchair. The soft velvet offered little comfort against the storm raging inside him. Sleep, a mercifully welcome visitor, eventually claimed him. It wasn't a peaceful rest. Dreams were filled with fragmented images, a field bathed in golden sunlight, a glint of metal, a sudden, searing pain. The rhythmic chirping of birds outside the window brought Elias back to the harsh reality of his situation. The morning sun streamed through the gaps in the drapes, painting the room in a golden hue. His head throbbed a dull ache pulsating behind his eyes, but the gnawing hunger remained. As if on cue, the melody of Mozart drifted through the room, a haunting reminder of his confinement. A sliver of hope flickered when a key rattled in the lock. The heavy door creaked open, revealing a tall man dressed in a black suit his face a mask of studied indifference. How's your head? inquired Dominic, his voice devoid of warmth. Elias cautiously reached up and touched the spot where the throbbing had been most intense. It's okay, he croaked, his voice hoarse from misuse. Dominic's gaze was unnerving, like a predator sizing up its prey. Where am I? Elias asked, the question tumbling out in a rush. Dominic raised an eyebrow, 
a flicker of amusement playing on his lips. You don't know? His words hung heavy in the air, dripping with skepticism. Elias shook his head, the fear solidifying into a knot of ice in his stomach. No. I. I can't remember anything. Dominic regarded him with a cold, calculating stare. Hungry, too, I see. He moved towards the door, then turned back, holding out a glass of water. Elias accepted it gratefully, the cool liquid momentarily quenching his thirst. As he drained the glass, his mind raced. He had to get out of there, but where to? Who was he? He didn't even know his own name. Dominic watched him, a flicker of something unreadable crossing his features. You'll find out what you need to know in time, he said finally, his words carrying an ominous undertone. But for now, you stay put. He turned to leave, then paused at the door. Just a word of advice, he said, his voice dropping to a low murmur. Don't try to escape. It wouldn't be pleasant. The door slammed shut, leaving Elias alone with his gnawing hunger, the unanswered questions, and the chilling melody of Mozart echoing through the room. Fear was a constant companion now, a cold dread that coiled in the pit of his stomach. He spent the day pacing the confines of the room, a caged animal yearning for freedom. Every creak of the 